Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys again another quick light setup about these two images here and also just talk a little bit about the Photoshop side. Now I'm not going to show too much of the Photoshop techniques, tips or tricks, rather just showing you guys what I think, what they've done to these images and how to achieve this kind of look or how they got to there. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, I do want to talk about the pilot's light setup here and also about the diver, the woman who went diving. So let's start directly with the pilot over here. Okay, so first of all, as you guys can see, the guy is standing in a hangar. Both of these images could be shot directly on location or as well in studio. Now the guy in the hangar looks more to me like a real on location shot and the lady in the diving suit looks also very, very real could also be in studio, I'm not too sure. But let me quickly show you guys the light setup for these two images here. Okay, so first of all, from the pilot here, as you guys can see, very nice big front lightning from the front here, then also a nice pop in his face, and we do have a little bit of a rim light going here on his arm and on his head. But we're not having any rim lights going all the way down. So I guess to photograph something like that, you would have to do certain things like this. Let me just quickly go over here to my light setup. And also in my light setup, again, we've got a backdrop here. I would take this now in studio and kind of do a studio setup around this, but you could also use this on location. Okay, so over here we have a big, huge Octabox. Obviously, we just have to turn that around. Octabox would be around almost a meter to two meters, very, very big and quite far away. So it would be even behind the photographer. Your camera would be somewhere over here. Let me just quickly make a cross there for our camera. So over here we have the camera somewhere. Then we have our big Octabox here at the back just giving a lot of spill and very soft light. So over here we have lots of soft light coming from this huge Octabox. As you guys can see we also do have a little bit of light here on the side and also some shadows. So I guess this Octabox would be a little bit more off to the side, not completely centered somewhere over here. When it could also be that it's even further in. Okay, except that. And then also we have a beauty dish giving him a really nice spot in his face. Obviously with a grid, so it would be very targeted just in his face and maybe onto his chest here. So let's move our beauty dish just over here somewhere. Our model would also obviously be here somewhere on the backdrop, somewhere over there. Okay, camera is right here again. And our beauty dish again over here. Now it would completely miss our subject. So let's go and select our beauty dish again. We're going to move it a bit closer, rotate that, and it's pointed directly into the person. Then again, also very high, it would be around a meter higher than the actual person. So it would be somewhere over here, standing like that, just lighting his face and also just the chest here in the front. Okay, then also, uh, just let me turn off my help layer here. We do have some lightning here at the back, so this is basically just another strip light coming from the back or another strobe, just very with a normal reflector on there, just lightening the rim over here. So I would add another strip light to that. Let me just go all the way down here, strip light with a grid inside. As you guys can see, this one has no grid in it. So I would definitely go with a grid. Over here, the grid would just target again the area where you want it to be spilled on. So as you guys can see down here, no light at all. If you work with a grid, you can achieve that. If you're working without a grid, you would most probably have the complete person with a nice rim around that. Okay, so let's take our strip light here and also going to rotate that just a bit it would most probably be vertical not horizontal and it would be somewhere over here so let me just turn that again and this light would then again spill very nicely onto our person let me just take my brush put on my help layer here and we will get some nice light control just onto the person here coming from that strip light Okay, so that's basically what I think how they have done this shot. Maybe also another halide to the top. So over here we have another halide from the top here, stripped from a boom. Another strobe on the boom. It doesn't look like there is a lot of halide here and also not on this image. So I guess there is 
no top hairlight here but it could be that the spotlight would be over here then okay let's just blend this off no top hairlight for this then again as well let me just turn off my help layer here again for this side as well with the lady in the diving suit I guess it's almost pretty much the same lightning setup maybe just no strobe at the background because we don't have any nice side lights or nice rim lights around her body here so I guess that rim light would not be there the strip over here here I'm going to rotate that and move that all the way over to here now this could be done in Photoshop or while they're shooting already they could have the shark a plastic shark or rubber shark or something on a rope I guess that they would either have another light over here just spilling and giving this hard edgy light to the shark over here or you could also have that shot in that extra Okay, so these are basically my two ideas for the light setup wise with the lady as well, just a normal big octobox and also a beauty dish straight on her. As you guys can see, the light is pretty even over here coming from just one side, another hard strip light maybe over here. Like I said before, this strip light could be somewhere over here on the side, maybe turned a little bit more and that would be angled very closely, just reaching her arm and maybe just a little bit from the body. Okay, then also over here we do have a little bit of light coming back again. I guess there was just a little bit of a poly board or a big reflector, most probably over here on the side. So light would spill a little bit and onto the lady again. Bouncing off from our big poly board here. So therefore you would get like a near really nice soft light on the right hand side as well and not only having it completely dark. Okay, so this is basically my light setup for these two images. Let us also quickly talk a little bit about the retouching side. I'm just going to turn off my help layer here and turn on a new help layer and then also going to point out some stuff. So as I said before, this is most probably shot in studio or it looks also very real, could be on location directly. If I would shoot this in studio, I would obviously then deep edge the complete person, get the person in here right then also shooting the background separately again could be that they were uh, very lucky that that day the sun was shining pretty good through here so you would have a nice spotlight coming through here or that could also be done in Photoshop with just adding some brushes and highlighting that area just bringing in a little bit more of a flary effect from that side from the light here then as well with the plane looks everything looks quite real I guess that might be lucky that they actually welded on that day with the smoke over here but otherwise that could also be done in Photoshop then again I think a lot of uh, dodge and burning again especially on the guy as you guys can see the cloth you can always see it on the clothing it looks very dodged and burned everything stands out quite good then again just a few adjustment layers and also I think one major point is they actually added these shadows down here. Then maybe just a little bit of a vignetting up here or darkening this area just a last slightly bit and also adding a few more controls onto it and more adjustments and then lastly they added a little bit of a new color cast to this a little bit brown and yellowish color cast to the complete image. This could also be a gradient, like they would have a yellow to blue gradient on this whole image here, going from the right over here to the left side. So from yellow over to blue, just with a very low opacity and to get this kind of yellowish to blue effect in here. Okay, then over to the lady in the diving suit. I guess with this, there was a lot of photoshopping involved. I think, first of all, she was either shot in studio or on location directly on the boat so this would be one image like this with the bottles included here and most probably the two guys in the background but the sea for me looks completely it's not it looks very real but I think this was done in Photoshop as an extra layer just the sea on its own and then also the sky was completely on its own as well dropped in let me just turn off the help layer here a new one and also the bird most probably dropped in then as well as you guys can see lots of this water spilling here and also a lot of water drops most probably these were some brushes that they've used in Photoshop to add that also in then again as well most probably shadow that was on the shooting directly otherwise also added in a little bit of a shadow then for this complete image again I think also a used like a pretty good um, gradient as well going from a yellow side here 
to a blue side so having a yellow gradient going over to blue to just create this mood again then also a few adjustment layers over here and also a little bit of dodge and burning just on her face maybe on her legs a little bit over here darken this area a little bit with burning and then also over here with the shark again as you guys can see let me just create another quick help layer here over here it is very bright here so either photograph the the shark as well extra on location and added that just in Photoshop as well as another element and also used a lot of dodge and burning on the fish here again okay guys so that's my quick tutorial for today I didn't discuss too many other tips and tricks or showed you guys how to get more of this but I hope you guys learned something from this quick Photoshop tutorial my name is Manny please give me a thumbs up if you do like these tutorials and do feel free to leave me a comment down below okay guys see you all next week and thank you again bye bye